Hey guys, Devin here, Lifetime Preparedness. So, um, we are going to talk about this because I was just thinking, what happens if I stopped when I first started prepping? Because, so I, I got a few things, I, I, um, I, you know, I felt pretty confident that I was in a good place to, you know, survive whatever event was happening. And at, at the time, the only events I was really worried about were, you know, just like, a natural disaster for the most part um for in my opinion that that's what i was worried about uh, at the beginning that and then i got into some other stuff that you know could potentially happen and you know if i didn't keep prepping i wouldn't have what i have here i wouldn't now i i could probably say hey let me turn my money to something else as i do occasionally um but i could just say i got two giant bins full of gauze why do I need more? I need more because I i don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how long-term of an event it's going to be. I don't know how many people they're going to be. I don't know how many people are going to get hurt. I might have way too much just here. I don't know. I might not have enough right here. So, guys, that um, all this gauze... I did just, um, in my previous video, show you some gauze I had to put away. I got that all put away here. So far, I do not need a third bin yet, but I could probably only get a couple more bags in here of uh, my assorted gauze. Um, that's, you know, 2x2s, two 3x3s, two, three rolled gauze, 3x4s, um, bandage rolls, 4x4s, four um, all kinds of gauze, guys. All kinds of gauze. A lot of 4x4s, four I tell you that. Um, but I got that away. So, guys, we got to keep preparing because we don't know, we really don't know what kind of long-term event uh, is going to happen. Obviously, we're going to have our short-term events here and there, natural disaster, hurricane, uh, tornado coming through your town, a winter storm like we get up here in the Northeast, um, you know, a uh, uh, volcano, depending on what <laughs> part of the world you're in, um, and then there's, uh, you know, more catastrophic things like a uh, grid down scenario in the United States, um, someone taking the power grid down, an EMP, uh, f global food shortage, uh, localized food shortages, fuel shortages, um, guys, there's all kinds of stuff, it, the, the Yellowstone super volcano could go off, and that would affect an entire world, it really would, um, nuclear war, uh, polar shift, there's all kinds of things that people prepare for, uh, an ice age, and this is just one of the things that you need, um, I really encourage you guys, do not stop prepping. If you have to slow down here and there, I know money is, you know, what it is. So if you got to slow down here and there to pay for some other things, do this, do that, it's fine. But just keep prepping forward. Keep prepping forward, guys. Um, and um, in a previous video, I forgot to show, um, I bought a couple other things too. I didn't actually show them, um, but I'll show you what they are. Um, I actually don't have them all here, but... Um, I got six, uh, eight glow sticks because they were like a dollar ninety four for two packs. Like uh, whatever, I'll pick some up. I got two boxes of uh, two uh, two packs of twenty gram uh, powder in both. I actually really like this bleed stop stuff. It's five bucks at Walmart and it works really really well. Just put it right on the wound. Boom. It's not as good as quick clot, but you know, it really just it it does the job. I think so anyway. It, it definitely does the job and the other thing i picked up my uh, vitamin storage is getting pretty good here see back here i got the degree for men deodorant i picked up uh two more boxes while it was on sale at sam's club uh there's five in a box i got five pack right there um yeah that's i'm down to that five pack but i got uh two more packs in the car so i got 15 sticks in rotation all together this is extra deodorant i actually got all this for free from my buddy tom someone gave me that brand new stick for christmas i don't know why i don't use it but um i'll take it i'll put it back um store it this stuff it's still good i'll give it to people who need it i won't use it unless i have to but that's the one i use and i got 15 sticks now because i got it on sale uh, two dollars off a box. Uh, eight dollars. It was seven ninety eight for five sticks. So I've had this one, and I like to keep a minimum of two boxes stocked up. Um, as you guys can see, I started doing some uh, organizing up there a little bit. I'm trying to do some organizing. I don't know if you guys can see. I got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff up there. But um, anywho, back to the gauze. Um, yeah, guys. 
We want to keep prepping. We want to keep stocking up. We want to keep doing the things, getting them done, because we don't know what's going to happen. And if you slow down, you're going to get complacent. Now, I know we all slow down time and time again because we're, we, we get comfortable, we get relaxed, and we don't have that itch all the time. And then we go and, you know, there's just one thing that we see in the news or something happens or we just wake up, we watch another YouTuber's YouTube video, um, and, and something just motivates us to get out there and to get prepping more and prep harder and prep smarter and build our skills but guys, we, we've got to try, as of right now, we got to try and stay on top of it. Don't let that itch go away. Do whatever you can to keep it, because right now is the time to keep preparing and not to slow down. Not to slow down at all. we got to keep going, because we don't know what's around the corner, and it could be bad. It could be very bad. Um, definitely, there's a, definitely a food shortage coming. There's definitely a, honestly, in my opinion, I think we're going to have an economic collapse. Because of the lockdowns brought on by the new administration that may be coming into power. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, and, and, and not just them. The governors in different uh, states, too. The governors are getting out of, the, out of hand, especially over in Michigan. Pennsylvania, they're telling you to wear your masks in your home. People are crazy, guys. But don't don't slow down prepping. That's the most important thing to do, guys. Don't slow down. Keep going. Keep working forward. If you don't have any money... Go go on YouTube, look at look at videos, learn some new skills, uh, get motivated, learn new ways to store stuff. Uh, people always come up with ingenious ideas. They really do. Um, yeah, guys, go work on your skills. Do the things. Prep and do not stop prepping. Now is not the time to slow down. It is not. Um, but I want to show you guys, As you, I mean, I'm sure you've already seen how I store um, my gauze. I eventually want to have one of these bins. For every single type of gauze that I have, I got to get another bin because I do need a bin for my tape because I do not have a, uh, I have a lot of tape, um, different assorted tapes and wraps and whatnot, but I don't have a good uh, storage method at the moment for them. So half of them are in the bags. I, I got to figure it out. Um, these are the HDX heavy duty um, bins. Love them. They're easily stackable. So, I highly, actually, highly recommend these bins to you guys. Let me show you how they, uh, how they look when they're stacked. I could probably pick this up. It's only, uh, yeah, guys, you can stack these to the rafters, especially if you're using light stuff like gauze. You can stack these all the way up to the rafters. Like, I got my ramen and my, uh, my, um, tissues and whatnot up there. So, yeah, guys, uh, keep prepping. Don't stop. If you want to show support for the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's great. Love it. Love seeing it. We're over 250 subscribers. Let's get up to 500. Uh, go ahead and hit the bell. That way YouTube might or might not notify you if a video goes up. Go ahead and leave a like and uh, comment, guys. Um, I know I said this on the last video, but let me know what you've been prepping. Some of you might not see that one. Let me know what you've been putting back. Uh, have you have you been in a rut? Have you, have you not had the itch or have you had it? Let me know. And, uh, you know, share the video, guys. Share my video. Share other videos. Share preparedness videos. Go out there and prepare because more people prepared, guys. Got to get the message out there. Got to get the message of preparedness out there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.